How's it going? Welcome to Good Company and welcome back to the Giga Factory. Today we're doing a few things. We are upgrading our toy robots. We are creating a new product, the computer, and we are also starting our electronics department. Very quickly though, just increasing the production on our enhanced cases. I did notice we were running out over in our handheld product assembly room. So nothing special going on there, just whacking some tables down, get them working, get the production up and running, and hopefully, it will sort itself out in the future. So here we are unlocking the computer. I thought it would be a good idea to actually go for a higher tiered item because I wanted to get the money going in and well, the higher tier items you can sell for more. So I thought, you know what, let's just go for it. So we are using two 16 segment displays. We are using three microcontrollers and also a basic power supply. So we do have to make the basic power supply and also the microcontrollers. And this is where the electronics department comes into play so just opening up this room and i decided this room would be a decent size for electronics part department um i feel like we'll use machines in the end here uh, but for now we don't have machines so we have to use the tables i do obviously go for overproduction here that's what i've been trying to do the whole time just overproduce stuff and well hopefully it's not gonna, well, it doesn't run out, so you can keep the production going and going and going. And if you do overproduce, like the shelves actually fill up and then production will start to match what's outgoing. So you'll have like an initial cost of outgoing and then it will sort of balance itself out when everything reaches like an equilibrium. So our component manufacturer area comes into play here. And as you can see, it's so worth just doing a central area to bring components over. So we have to bring over the integrated circuits and also the multi, uh, what are they called? Multi-layer PCBs. So that's what we're doing there. Um, just creating our new toy robot as well. Uh, again, using some, well, I went for double battery stacks, but I thought, you know what, that's, it's not feasible. So we had to go for quadruple battery stacks which is again not ideal and we will be changing that in the future but for now i just needed to get money coming in and well toy robot was one of the things to do i think the market phase actually progressed for that and it just wasn't making any money i'm not entirely sure uh, so this actually did involve um, a couple of things i think we have to make some sensors actually so yeah we go for the proximity sensor and to make that, you need a different type of sensor as well. I'm not very good at commentating this. It's going very fast and I'm watching it back. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've recorded a lot of videos since this, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. <laughs> so I did come into a little bit of a, um, a situation with this room, actually. The amount of pallets was just getting a bit too much, or uh, not the amount of pallets, the amount of um, components that needed to come in. So we end up with a bunch of pallets there and it's, I don't think it's very efficient. And uh, I'm gonna have to sort that out in the future again. Uh, but for now, we just have to, just, just for the video, just get it working because otherwise the video will be like an hour long and no one wants to sit here for an hour. So again, just creating the courier routes. And again, this is why the uh, central component making area is like so useful same with the metal workshop as well just being able to pick up them components from like other places just makes everything neat and tidy and just works and that's what we like well i say it just works i did run into a little bit of an issue we needed to get coated glass over to our audio visual department however the coated glass wasn't making its way onto the final palette and I tried a couple of things. I tried setting it manually, couldn't do that. I tried deleting the shelf and re-adding just to try and see if it would um, redo the logistics, um, the logistics link. Again, that didn't work. What it turned out to be was I just didn't set the courier route properly. So that was all sorted out. I thought that was gonna take a long time to figure out what was going on, but luckily I stumbled across <laughs> the uh, solution to that fairly quickly. Uh, so just open up a new room. This is going to be the assembly room for our medium products. So we're going to be doing the toy robot and the computer and basically other 
medium sized products. Um, I think the computer counts as a medium sized product because it uses one of those medium cases that we're making. The toy robot actually uses one of the bot chassis. So in the end, I am gonna split that off and we're gonna have a whole robotics division somewhere. I'm not gonna lie, we're running out of space because this map is not as big as I initially thought. Uh, but we are going to have a robotics division somewhere uh, and then we'll have all the medium case uh, products like the computer, the multi-cooker and also, well, the 3D printer and uh, what's it? I think there's one more, uh, the copier, that's it, there's a photocopier in here. So with this, I didn't actually have a plan before opening up this room. I just wanted to get a big room going and just whack down as many tables making these products as possible and see how it went so it's really messy and it's no way the final design however it doesn't get sorted out for like ages <laughs> and it's got to the point where it well you, as you can see here it is a it is a it's a mess the the roots around the room are not efficient and we got stuff coming in all over the place and it's just it's a mess i don't like it so that will change in the future but again for the video we're just going to try and make it work and um, here we are making our quadruple battery stacks for the toy robot very simple just plastic parts metal and single uh, the single battery stack i think it's called uh, so yeah very very simple for those nothing too special and with the power plant it's very temporary at the moment again it's all just a little bit of a mess and just trying to get things working setting up courier routes this was a little bit tricky because the amount of stuff we needed to take over was well it was a lot of stuff to take over um, so just setting up those was kind of tricky and this is where again using the same modules in the, in different products really helps out uh, just so you don't have to move as much stuff around and you don't have to make as much stuff because with our Gigafactory, we are going for huge production and it, it kind of gets out of hand with the amount of stuff we have to make. It's kind of an example here already actually with our double battery stacks. We just have to keep adding tables and it still isn't enough. So it's kind of an issue, but also it can get sorted out just by um, being smart with the product design really uh, we did put some tables down for the power supply I can't remember what they need but they're being made were we I don't think we were making them already I kind of just skipped that part well I say skip that part of the video I kind of zoned out talking about whatever I was just talking about <laughs> so here we are making uh, what, are, what are those um, oh I think they're the uh, circuits for our um, initial product right these the handheld products are using some of the older circuit boards whereas the computer is using the microcontroller I think that's what it is there so I didn't want to kill off production of our initial um, our initial assembly room because I did want to just delete everything in that room as you just saw um, we didn't need that because the toy robots were going to be made somewhere else and i wanted to move the bot chassis over to our case making room again the case making room is a mess we've, we're making heaters in there oh damn that room that reminds me i need to find a place to put heaters I, it, oh, it, this is <laughs> this is getting out of hand it's getting out of hand but uh, it's all, all good in the end um again just adding a few more tables to the case making machine this is what i'm uh, talking about it's just you need to, need to keep placing down table after table after table and this is where machines come in um well they come in very very handy they are expensive and they're a pain in the butt to make but once you've got like an automatic way of making machine parts then it's all good oh and you need a lot of money like i said i think they're like a hundred grand each machines but we, we're going off topic we're going off topic that's in the future uh, i think in a couple of episodes actually we start using machines so sneak peek into that um just setting up our courier routes we are 
uh, doing from the electronics room to the small assembly and then again from the electronics room over to the large assembly room I call it the large assembly room just to differentiate it but it's not the large one it's the <laughs> it's the medium one uh, so it's just yeah just trying to figure this out and trying to trying to get it working a good tip actually is take note of the red and yellow triangles on the courier route page this will tell you when there's things missing or missing demand or if you don't have any workers on the courier routes so if you are having problems setting up courier routes or if you've got a problem with a courier route you just can't figure out just look for these red and yellow triangles and it will basically tell you what's wrong so this is what I'm doing here just one by one just going down uh, the uh, the red triangles telling me what's missing in the final assembly room and it works out works out all good I am putting two uh, workers on each courier route for now some of them have got three or four uh, but but for now most of them have got two workers I don't know if that's the best amount I really don't know um, but I feel like there's a little bit of an issue where if the two workers are close together on the route then the the correct amount of stuff won't get picked up but i'm not entirely sure setting up the final resting place for our final products the computer and the toy robot final resting place is not a good term for that i guess it's <laughs> it's the selling area it's not the final resting place that's so uh, so morbid um but anyway it's literally the furthest away from assembly the assembly room so that's not good just setting up the uh, courier routes the workers on this route are gonna have to walk a long way uh, but we're gonna do one route for one product and well this is the thing of the products they don't stack up like the modules so you have to have basically a dedicated route for each uh, for each product um, eventually I will have a conveyor belt taking everything from the assembly room to the uh, selling area just like the handheld product assembly room but for now we do not have enough conveyor belts to go across the whole factory uh, you can see here look how far away it is actually crazy I don't I, I don't recommend doing that <laughs> but but we make it uh, we make it work like 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 we always do on this channel so here we are we're getting some good production on here nearly two full stacks and well making loads of money 200 grand profit never seen money like that in uh, in the gigafactory before uh, there is our well upgraded audio visual department making the sensors as well and then also we've got the electronics department so thank you for watching thank you to the workforce stay safe have fun and i'll see you on the next one